Oh, this will be a short little rant, but this is hilariously deranged. And I'm sure some of you will click this thinking, most insane headline ever. Spoon, we're barely into month 4 in 2024 and already most insane headline ever. So far as my life is concerned, yes, actually, it really is that deranged. But anyway, as many of you know, I have uh, pretty much avoided mainstream media articles for actually months now. I no longer read the news because it's either pissing me off or disappointing me. Imagine Peter Griffin dealing with Buzz Killington in perpetuity. It's, it's pretty much that. Uh, the democratic regime colludes with academia, it colludes with uh, selected so-called journalistic outlets and round and round this whole thing goes to the point where the entire apparatus is nothing more than a 24-7 propaganda machine operating one giant psyop. And then you wonder why everyone is mentally unstable, depressed and uh, doped to the gills on some other substance. By the way, whiskey is very good for you. The problem with this though is the capacity to propagandize is not infinite. As you move further and further away from reality, as the regime is clearly trying to do, uh, the mental endurance to deal with this kind of BS is a strain on the psyche and people can potentially snap, at which point propagandizing them becomes kind of redundant because they're already mentally unstable and the soil for the information is no longer fertile. Like a blind man trying to find a glory hole to shag without the use of his hands. Another phenomenon that can also happen, which I do believe is increasing thanks to modern technology frying people's attention span and a sizable chunk of people write the most absurd clickbaity headlines, is the ratio at which the propaganda no longer sticks and you suffer diminishing returns. Those diminishing returns have detrimental effects on the regime trying to push the propaganda in the form of decreased credibility of the outlet which has a knock-on effect on the perception of the regime. And you all know this if you've taken a break from reading news, or better yet, completely divorced yourself from the entire thing altogether. I can safely say I am much better off mentally for doing so, and yet I'm still pounding the whiskey. I wonder why. Now, I've said this before as well many times, the most depressing thing for me in this day and age is once you see all of this, you can't unsee it. And you also bear witness to how incredibly primitive and stupid the propaganda really is. That to me is the most demoralizing part, never mind the propaganda itself, the existence is what drops my jaw. Which is what you get with the following headline as well as quite the hearty chuckle. Ready for this? <clears throat> climate news, how climate change is hitting vulnerable Indonesian trans sex workers. Nearly 93% of respondents saw decreased income during the rainy season. During the rainy season, man, punchline galore in that sentence. I know what you're thinking, there is no way in hell that is real. UK independent, it's real. If America has the least trusted news media in the world, then the UK really can't be far behind if it's cranking out this kind of bollocks. Who wrote this pile of shit anyway? A Reuters correspondent, and never mind that answers that one. I know I'm not gonna read it, what would be the bloody point? Hell, I'm gonna fumigate my crotch after reading just the fucking headline. And that is quite the pleasant image to leave you people with. Cheers for watching, and once again, I apologize for nothing.